hi my loves welcome back to my channel today we're doing this cute green set um, with a little bit of flames and we got some crock print going on it's gonna be super cute as always you guys know I'm starting with my prep um, the first part of me doing her nails are, is pretty self-explanatory like I do the same thing in every video um, and I'll be listing everything I use down below a lot of you guys use what kind of glue I'm using it's not a glue it's a soft gel um, and it's gonna be listed down below under application so everything you guys need to know will be down below um, but I really wanted to do the voiceover so I can explain the design process um, but you know if you still have questions please ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them
All right, so the first color that I'm going in with is OPI Do You Take Layaway, and it's a really nice sheer light nude and i like to do one coat of it just so it can cover the natural nail bed because we don't want to see like the tip of it we don't want to see the clearness um through the design so i'm going to do one coat of this and then we're going to go in one coat on top with put it in neutral by opi as well Now, before I do any type of design, I like to wipe off the sticky layer of the polish um, with acetone. So I just take my lint-free wipes, which I will list down below for you guys, and I just wipe off that sticky layer. Just because with the sticky layer, sometimes when you do gel polish, it tends to bloom and run, and the lines aren't as straight and thin like you like it, and you don't want to have to start over. So I just do that just in case. And here I mixed um, DND 568, I believe, with white. I'm gonna list it down below and just to make it a pastel color so you can make any color pastel just mix it with a little bit of white and just see how you like it if you like it lighter mix it with more white but I tend to do that with a lot of my colors and we're gonna do Frenchies and some fingers will be Frenchies and some finger will be whole So I have this habit of forgetting that some fingers will be a whole color and I just painted it nude. So I'm just going in on top with that same green with one of my gel but uh, sorry, gel brushes that I will list down below for you guys as well. And we're gonna do that. And then I believe on the pointer finger, it's gonna be this like apple green that is an OPI color. And I think it's just these two fingers that are whole.
All right, so what I did here was I used Gelish Foundation Base Coat um, just because it's a thicker consistency. I don't want the crocodile print to bloom so fast. Um, a lot of people use Blooming Gel, and that's perfectly fine, but if you don't have Blooming Gel, like myself, I don't know why I don't have it. I just used um, this gel base, and it works just as good. And um, don't care. So when you put a layer of that on, don't care. You're going to go in with your dots and print and just let that spread apart. And then you're going to cure it into the light. I like to work one finger at a time just because this stuff does bloom. So if you do multiple fingers, one finger will be like wider. So just do one finger at a time. Now we're gonna do a hollow white flame on this finger. And I believe like this probably is one of my favorite designs, one of my favorites, um, like a hollow white flame because it's still classy, but like fun at the same time. And I, I love it, it's super cute. And then on the ring finger, we're gonna do a silver chrome flame. And I will list this chrome um, gel polish down below as well for you guys.
Alrighty guys, this completes the look. I hope you guys love the way they turned out. It's super fun, a cute set to do for St. Patty's Day. Um, but if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!